Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading. Who's coming towards you for the month of December? This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, this is intended for singles, so you do have to be single. You could be dating somebody or have somebody in mind. That's fine, as long as you're not committed to anybody. This um, reading, like I said, is intended for um, a single energy. So we may get a person you, you're thinking of, uh, their energy, or uh, somebody you may be dating, or it could be somebody totally new that we may get their energy. So what we're going to do here is pull a couple signs, and then we're going to pull their energy. Who are they? What are they like? Of this possible person uh, coming into you and then uh, how you may meet them time of year where and how and then what kind of connection it will be advice for the connection and they'll we'll pull more tarot to get a fuller picture of this um, incoming person so it'll be kind of fun so welcome Sagittarius I hope everybody's doing well and happy birthday I know it's your birthday time end of November into December so Sag season just started so happy birthday Saggies all right so let's get a couple signs here a couple signs I do consider all my readings timeless so this is intended for whenever you see this till whenever so if you want to check out my channel please feel free to do that all right playlists are also listed below in the description box so a couple signs we got one there one more Whoop! thank you let's see who we have for Sagittarius possible people coming in well we have Leo with the Sun and we have cancer with the moon energy and the moon is all about feelings emotions uh, intuition cycles and changes so cancer with the moon since this is astrology deck, moon in astrology is cancer, but in the tower it's Pisces. So I'm going to say cancer in Leo with the sun. And the sun is all about that fiery, passionate um, energy, being true to who you are. It's just sun is your sun sign. Uh, it makes who, makes who you are. It makes your identity, your individuality, your passion, your purpose. So that's the sun energy gives birth to new things uh it's faith hope optimism and everything positive with the sun energy so all right so cancer and leo and i just notice here 13 14 so all right let's see let's see who is this possible person coming into you sagittarius who are they what are they like What's their personality like? I'm just going to like get an idea of like um, their personality, their energy. Not necessarily like what they do for a living or anything like that. It's more of just their energy. All right. So who is this person coming into Sagittarius? Male, female, doesn't matter. Sagittarius, who is this incoming person? Huh, somebody who... And we do have cancer energy here with the chariot. So this is somebody who goes after what they want, who uh, who is dedicated, who has a lot of self-discipline. It says su success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, um, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. So it could be somebody in the spotlight. Um, they could have a YouTube channel. They could just be very popular. Uh, someone who's very dedicated, disciplined to achieving their goals, reaching their goals, going after what they want with a lot of drive and ambition. Someone could be very well balanced. Their energy is a balanced. They could also be very accomplished in what they do. And they're not afraid to go after more. Like they just don't settle. Like they always believe they can do more, reach for higher goals, be more successful. Very uh, go-getter kind of energy here. Okay. So, and then not, not afraid to take the reins, take the lead, take charge, and just do it and get it and go after it. So, all right. So, let's see what time of year you may meet this person. Let's see. Okay, that just flew out. So, we have autumn. So, autumn just passed, so it may not be till next autumn or whenever autumn is for you. So, depending on what part of the world you're in. 
uh, autumn will be, for us, we just went through autumn. We just, well, we're in autumn right now, actually. Yeah, we're just in autumn right now. So it could be now. <laughs> you could meet this person now <laughs> before, within the next month. Because we are coming into winter in the next month. So for some of you, depending, like, if you're in the States, this part of the world, it could be now within the next month. Or it'll be um, next year, which would be, what, um, May? No, like March to June, right? So whenever autumn is for you. Okay, so let's see where you may meet this person. Where? Where? Oops. Oh, just one there. Okay, so... We do have sunflowers here. Um, it says taking care of others. But I have outdoor energy here. So you could be actually um, like doing yard work, uh, raking leaves uh, or something like that. Something outside here in the fall, you know, fall time cleanup. <laughs> I'm getting fall time cleanup, like cleaning your yard, raking leaves, uh, trimming everything that, you know, getting everything, you know, fixed up for winter and they could be in the neighborhood. Um, you could, you know, you could be anywhere outside. Of course, a lot of these cards do have outside, um, pictures on them, but you could be, you could be anywhere in the park, you know, going, uh, you could be driving, looking at foil, foliage, um, foliage, foliage, however you say it, but you know, looking at the leaves, um, kind of energy, you know, maybe you're in the part of the country where, you know, you like to go sightseeing, looking at the leaves, the colors and that kind of, so something outside, some, you know, like I said, you could be at the park, you could be, uh, going on a trail hike, you know, looking at leaves, something here outside. So, all right, so let's see. Kind of like, that's kind of like the where, but how would you meet this person? You could be visiting, you could be buying sunflowers. You know, maybe you're at a local nursery or a farm or something like that. And um, buying sunflowers or like fall decorations for your yard, for outside. Getting ready for like Halloween and the fall, you know, and that kind of energy. And maybe they're there. Okay, so now we have winter energy here. So, so I definitely feel like you may be winterizing your home. Not only winterizing your home, but also decorating it for <clears throat> the fall season, for the Halloween season kind of energy. Um, maybe you're having a problem like with your house or with your yard or something like that, and you go and you seek advice um, or something like that, because it says the resolution of difficulties. So, you know, you could be having a problem, like I said, with your yard or your house, like winterizing it or something like that. And maybe you go, I don't know, maybe just go to, you know, the tractor supply store or you go somewhere to get help, advice or something, and then this person is here and maybe they even, maybe you're even a landscaper or something. They come and they look, you know, at your yard, your house or whatever your situation is. And that's kind of how you meet this person. Hmm. Okay, interesting. And I feel like they're going to help you resolve a problem here. So, because we do have the King of Pentacles here, who is someone, and that could be your energy. But this is who's coming into you. So like I said, they, they're a go-getter. So they could be, they could make a lot of money. They could own their own business. As I said, maybe they have a landscaping company or maybe, you know, it's a handyman or something like that. They do repair work. Um, and they, I'm, they come and they look at your house. They look at your yard or whatever here. And I think that's how you meet this person. Oh boy. Okay. So... That makes sense for some of you. And if you are having issues right now <laughs> and you see like this person in their, in their uh, chariot here. So, you know, coming with all their, you know, 
equipment to come fix your problem. <laughs> wow, okay. So let's see. Or maybe you're deciding to hire a company to come and like tidy up your yard, you know, decorate it for you or whatever here. All right, so. Let's see, so we have the chariot here, which is Cancer, and the Queen of Summer here, which is also that water energy of Cancer. So we don't have any signs of um, the fire sign Leo yet, but we'll see. We'll see. So what kind of connection will this be for you, Sagittarius? Oops. Well, we have break three here. Okay. So... I'm also getting that maybe some of you are moving because the chariot is about moving. So maybe you're hiring a company to help you move. Um, you know, maybe you're going to try to do it yourself, but it's like, uh, I just can't. It's just too much, too many problems. And uh, somebody comes or you hire somebody to help you move for some of you. So we have break free here. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So it could be just... Um, you know, breaking free of past patterns and relationships. Or maybe this person is going to show you uh, a good time, you know, break free, show you new new things, new adventures. Because it says, try different ventures. So they may show you all new experiences, all new ventures with the sun. That's like a lot of happiest, joyous energy. All right. I'm not getting an energy yet of like... You might need to break free from this person, but I'm going to pull tarot on it. So, you know, the Ten of Winter there is about, you know, an ending of some kind. But it says the re resolution of difficulty. So whatever you're, I feel like whatever you're having an issue with, this person's going to come in and they're going to break you free of whatever problem you're having. They're going to fix it for you in some way or help you in some way. Like I said, they could own their own business uh, kind of energy. All right, so what's your advice, Sagittarius, with this connection? What's Sagittarius' advice? So we have, I've got two, I'm not going to take that one. So we have rejuvenate. So I think you're going to rejuvenate each other. Uh, this is to, you know, Take care of yourself, relax, um, you know, make sure you're getting enough sleep, rest, you're eating properly, uh, clearing your energy, and just refreshing yourself. So that's your advice is to rejuvenate for this connection. So make sure you are the best you um, and you're really taking care of yourself. All right, so... Let's see. Let's get some tarot on this Sagittarius. I mean, you know, rejuvenate. I'm getting relax. Um, take some time for you. So it may be, you know, maybe it could also be with the chariot energy there that this person wants to move very quickly. And you may have to tell them, you know, let's slow it down a little bit. And that may be your energy of like... Um, no, let's take little breaks here so I can rejuvenate and we can think about this moving forward. All right, Sagittarius, let's get some tarot. So, Sagittarius, if you're new and you do like how I read, um, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all the great stuff. Love to read the comments. If you subscribe, I do four different readings a month, all different. So you, um, you hit the bell, you won't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you. You can check the description box below. Tons of information there. Uh, personal reading information. Tons of stuff there. And thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel, who subscribed. Whatever here, whatever you've done to support me in the channel, I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's see. We got five. Let's get a couple more. One more. All right, Saggies. Let's see what's going on with this incoming person. Wow, the Ten of Cups. So this is going to could lead to uh, total happiness and joy, fulfillment in every single way, a happy home, a happy home and family. You could have a home and family with this person down the road here. 
Wow, total happiness. So Queen of Wands, so that's your energy. King or Queen, does it matter? That's your energy there. So you're wanting the Ten of Cups with somebody. You're seeking fulfillment, I feel. Happiness and joy. The Nine of Swords. But stress, worry, anxiety, I feel. Um, about this, about new relationships. Eight of Pentacles. So you may be just working hard. Um on you, on your life, your finances, career, putting in the dedicated effort. Ten of Swords. So we got the Ten of Swords coming in under the Ten of Swords. Wow. So double confirmation here, some sort of ending. All right, let's see what's going on here. Five of Cups, sadness, loss, sorrow, and death here. Wow. Wow, Sag. So I feel like with this energy here, something um, could be you or your person, maybe just, uh, well, your advice is to rejuvenate. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you've just broken free from something here. It could have been a previous relationship. You know, it came to an end with the death card, you know, feeling the sadness, hurt, and the loss, painful ending again with the 10 of swords energy. So now you, you broke free, but now you're needing to rest, recuperate, rejuvenate kind of energy. A healing energy. And I think that's why you have stress, fear, and worry here. Overworking on a new relationship, you know, that could go to the Ten of, the, uh, ten of Cups energy here. Oh boy, so let's get, uh, let's get a couple more, because I feel like... <laughs> Wow, okay. Knight of Swords. So this rushing in, I think you have fear of this moving forward very quickly. Because the Knight of Swords rushes in very quickly. It's a very, very fast-moving energy. So I think you're fearing uh, also with that Knight of Swords that this may move very quickly and maybe you're not ready for that. That you, you fear this person may want the Ten of Cups right away. And you may want to take a more slow, practical approach here with the Eight of Pentacle energy. Let's get a couple more. So, oh, we've got two cards in reverse here. I think I got a big clump that's in reverse. <laughs> so, I'm going to turn upright because I think that big clump fell reverse. So, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you have holding back here. This is, again, build, you know, building three of pentacles, building very slowly, very slow energy. But it's about teamwork, collaboration, working together. But then you have the four of pentacles that's kind of like, you know, holding back um, kind of energy. Like not giving, not taking, just kind of holding back, but also not letting go. So it's like you want to work together, but then you, you, you don't. It's like you have fear of it. So, I mean... Wow, so it's a lot of energy here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the world, so again, with cycles closing with the moon is about cycles. Cycles closing and new cycles, phases starting, new cycle in life. But yeah, you may you may run from this because I think you have fear with the Seven of Swords. You fear that it may go badly and you may be left out in the cold. But you're needing to listen because here you are again with the King of Wands. So you're needing to listen to your gut and your intuition on this. Because um, I think this person, uh, male or female, is very stable here. Um, we got the King and Queen of Pentacles. So it's a matching couple. So the, this does have soulmate energy here, potential. But again, with the moon energy. So, and there's your energy with... <laughs> With temperance, uh, Sagittarius energy here, needing to balance yourself out. You know, there is love and emotions here, but I feel like... Wow, okay. Two of Cups, so definitely soulmate energy here. There is love with the Page of Cups. But if you can balance out your energies and really listen to your intuition and see this is a very stable offer, stable person, and they're willing to build very slowly in this new cycle that you don't have to sneak away from this because of fear of being left out in the cold and hurt again. Uh, needing, really needing here to listen to your heart, your intuition on this connection. Wow, Sagittarius, it's a lot of energy. 
Um, so yeah, this does have soulmate potential, full tenor cup potential, joy, happiness, fulfillment in every single way. But I think ultimately I, your, your fear may get the best of you and you may not uh, move forward with this. Or if you can balance out your energy and get over your fears, I do see uh, soulmate potential here. And you know, building and working slowly together to the Ten of Cups, which is total fulfillment in every single way. Wow, Sagittarius. Okay, um, we did have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, which is Leo Sag Aries, and the Sun is Leo. So Leo did sort of make an appearance. So and so as did Cancer. So it could be either one here. All right, uh, Sagittarius, so good luck to you on whatever you decide here, if this is your situation, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.